Welcome to my first video in our technical drawing series. In this video we're going to go over our equipment and then we'll have a look at setting up a piece of paper with a border and a title block. So for our equipment make sure you have your rubber, your pencil sharpener, your scale ruler, your pencils. So in this I'll be using a HB a 2H and a 6H pencil. We also have our set squares or an adjustable set square if you wish to use one of those instead of two standard set squares. Now the drawing boards we're using they have these little push buttons on the sides which lift up the rulers on the side and the bottom enabling us to slide a piece of paper into the drawing board. So you just gently slide it in and let go and it clamps down on those two sides. You'll notice there's a little groove at the top by here and another little groove by there which show us where the edges of the paper are. And then on this corner we push the little grey button in and poke the paper in and gently flatten the paper out and then release the button and that'll just get rid of air bubbles in the paper and if we do see like there a little bit of a raise we can just lift it again push up and just drop it down and it just helps to take out those undulations and try and get the paper to be as flat as possible. Now the 6H pencil that we use is for construction lines. So the idea of a construction line is to make the lines very faint. Therefore avoid pushing hard when using the pencil but instead allow the weight of the pencil to really draw the lines for you as you just drag it across or guide the pencil. What we're going to do now is set up our border and title block. So from the top edge I'm just going to measure 20 mil down and then I'm going to measure 20 millimeters on this side and then from the bottom edge I'm going to look for where the groove is and I'm going to measure 20 millimeters up from that groove so that I make sure that I'm getting the same border all the way round. Then likewise on this side again just line that up with the zero 20 millimeters and there we go. Now I've done it at 20 millimeters because you'll notice there's a beveled edge on the actual drawing board itself going along these sides and it does go over there as well but that's quite far away from the paper and I don't want us to be drawing over that beveled edge because that would create some problems for us. Once we have done those four measurements we can now add the parallel arm to the drawing board. So this slides on and we can slide it up and down quite freely and this button here locks it in position so it's now quite stiff. Likewise on this side over here if we want to really be careful with our lines we can just push down there on that grey button on the end and it'll lock it and press the red button to release it. Press the red button to release by here. So we can use this for drawing our horizontal lines and then we can also put it this way up on the drawing board and actually draw our lines on the sides as well. So I'm now going to just faintly draw. Now I'm not being overly concerned about the precision of the lengths of the lines at this moment because we're doing them very faintly. Okay, now because I'm using the 6H and being gentle you'll find it very difficult to see those first few lines from the camera. You can just about make it out. And that's what you want, is it to be 
very much on the gentle side so that those lines will naturally disappear as it were when we do darker lines near them. Or go over them. So it avoids us having to do rubbing out. Okay, so there's my four lines creating my border. I'm now going to take the HB pencil and just darken those four lines up. And when I'm using the dark the HB to darken it up, I am being much more careful on the corners to make sure that I do get the lines exactly where I want them. So there's the border. Now we want to have a look at putting a title block in the bottom right hand corner. We're going to do a fairly simple title block. We're going to make it 90 millimeters wide by 40 millimeters high. So again over to the 6H pencil. I'm marking out 90 millimeters by there. I'm also going to mark 30 and 60 because the bottom row of the title block I'm going to split into three and likewise I'm going to do the 40 millimeters but I'm going to divide it into four rows of 10 millimeters each. bottom row I'm dividing into three so again just being gentle with the 6H pencil there we go so you can just see very faintly these lines I've sketched but now I take the HB pencil and I will darken those up and when we use the HB pencil to darken up the lines again we're very careful on these edges and corners not to go too far. We want it to be just right. So that is our border and our title block. Next, we want to divide um, to actually write in the title block. Now, when we write, 
again we want to be very neat and tidy we don't just want to scroll in there and have messy writing so what we do is use construction lines once again for the writing now I'm layering the ruler on here to center up my writing in there so I'm going to put a line in the middle at the five millimeter point again this is using my 6H pencil and then I'm going to go three millimeters above and three millimeters below it so my lettering will be six millimeters high in total and I'm just going to repeat that for each row faint construction lines across the page by the in the title box just being careful to hold the ruler as we do it so that the lines are straight. Now by doing these nice faint construction lines for the writing we will make sure our writing is neat and tidy, evenly sized, but by keeping them really faint we won't have to rub the construction lines out afterwards. Now I'm going to use the HB pencil and each box would be identified so first of all we've got name so you would write your name in the drawing box by there then you have the title of the drawing so that could be something like a floor plan an elevation a section the project we would have the scale in this one so that would be 1 to 50 1 to 100 whichever scale you are using for the drawing the date And finally the drawing number so that would be 01, 02 or whatever you decide to name it and that just sets us up ready for doing the drawings for our project thank you for watching this video if you haven't done so already please subscribe and like the videos and that would be appreciated and now we'll move on to our next video.